Ogamac to SXZ Bear. I'm Swiss Bear once again, joined by Fompy. Fompy. Fompalicious. Uh, and this is Portal 2, Episode 4. If you didn't catch us on the last one, uh, go back and watch that one. Because what are you doing here? This is 4. Go, you know, they go in chronological order. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> I can only count to 4. I can only count to 4. But yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's just uh, jump straight into it. Episode 4, BB. Uh, last episode we just left on end of a end of a puzzle. So, yeah. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. I, I think <laughs> I remember starting this level. I was just like, I'm gonna go as fast as possible, and then instantly just start fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Try to knock this one. Knock him over. Just yep. them is just knocking them over. Yep. I feel like I could have done this with a football. Yeah. And it would have been easier. Uh, right here, what I'm about to do is the more ideal situation. Oop. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if there was a way that you could like just physically knock them down versus. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thought that was the end of it. Nope. What was it? That was a very fast, easy level. It still was understood. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Well then. But how old am I? Right. going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Uh, hey, a present. That jumpsuit that you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. <laughs> well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. <laughs> mm. Why do you need to hurt my feelings? Why can't we just be friends? Honestly, the, you say hurt, hurt your feelings. I'm over here like, tell me you're desperate. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you come over here? No. No, I will not. They say you uh, can yep. shoot the blue and take mm -hmm. that camera out. Yep. Like, wait for it. I <sighs> thought about it. No, I can't come over there, but I can sure as hell take the shield down for you. Yep. 
It didn't do anything. <laughs> This is some, this is a good feeling right here. It's some rainbow shit, like, yeah! Uh, uh. I don't hate you. So I do have two different minds on this. Uh, one, your turrets, like, you're clearly being shot sometimes. Mm -hmm. While I am grateful that it was not a one-hit kill situation, I'm also a little disappointed it's not a one-hit kill mm -hmm. situation. Like... I feel like you should be failing there, and you're not. Agreed. There's a couple of times where there's like multiple turrets. Like if those four were to get uh, a good one shot on me, like I would be fucked pretty quickly. I didn't need to do that, but I did. I didn't need to do this, but I did. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. Damn. It's a small world. Hmm. Saw my dead fucking parents. <laughs> I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Deploying. Searching. Are you still there? That one I could have got. That one I got. doing bud that's kind of what i was i'm like i don't know what you're supposed to do here either <laughs> so thinking hard like what the fuck was i doing <laughs> mm, right i had to figure out how it worked got you there you are you guys can't do shit. Figured something out. I yep. need this cube. Garbage. Set them all on fire! Kill them all! You can um, see, I assumed you would have had to have gone to the other side. Do that. Okay. I. But, uh... You were having a struggle bus hey, with this thing, To huh? be fair, majority of this was recorded after work when I was tired. <laughs> Understand. It was funny. <laughs> I'm a jolly good fellow. Oh, that was nice of her. It says this uh, next uh, test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Huh? Huh? Easy. Let's 
See, I'm still just thinking about this from like a new player perspective. Ah, oh, man. I, like I said, I'm not good at these types of puzzle games. It's sort of been kicking my butt. Like, especially with this one, you gotta just, uh, this is definitely a, <clears throat> you gotta do it in a specific order. That would work perfectly if that cube would have stayed on the button. And I try like really hard to get this get this right. <laughs> I think it still doesn't work this one. Yep, fuckers. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. I gotta double check that it's like straight up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the one. That's the bee's knees Pick right there. Deep. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. <gasps> After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. This is nice. That was a really good job building tension. The surprise. Yeah, what's the surprise? Initiating surprise Dad? in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. <laughs> oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. God damn. Brutal. She is very brutal. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Okay. Still mind fucks you a little bit? Yep. I can't remember if this one I die or not. Yeah, right here. For some reason, I was brain farted and I was getting stuck on the wall. Like, I should have died there. Yeah, like, what the hell? Okay. I forgot buttons. That's a shame. Now I got two cubes. Ooh, ooh. Yep. And this, I think I did the slow and painful way. What do you mean? Uh, uh, I'll show you in a second. Like, after thinking about what I was doing, I think that was an easier way to go about it. There you go. 
I crouch walk there. <laughs> using that as protection. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if it works, right? Yeah, right. It's not your fault that for it's got a shit brain. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what. Let's give your parents a call right now. The bird parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. <laughs> oh, that's sad. What the but fuck? But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Uh. Oh, the terrorists. I talked my way yeah. onto the old Nanobot work crew rebuilding this shop. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. And, ah! Just hang in there for five more. What? Jerry, you can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a Nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Five more chambers. Well, then. episode four. Uh, yeah, this is this is solid. Uh, I could definitely never play this. It... I, I will keep saying that. Mm -hmm. But it's cool as shit. It, it, it's funny because like I'm just <laughs> waiting for the the story arc, I suppose. Gotcha. I get I get soul so fun but yeah episode four make sure you you know like subscribe and all that jazz oh yeah so we catch you next time this is swiss and pumpy saying see ya <laughs>